Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a normal patient, and I'm going to show you this first to compare it to the next patient. So this patient has a normal shoulder. Up high here, we see this clavicle, this horizontal band coming across to this bone. This is the acromion, and this intersection here is called the AC joint. You can see it's pretty narrow. You see fat along the top is bright, very smooth, and looks completely normal. And this is the humeral head. This round ball is a humerus, and it sits in this cup. And the other thing we notice here is this black triangle along the top. This is the superior labrum. So the AC joint's normal. You can see that little black wedge. This goes all the way around the rim of this cup. And it's called the labrum. So these are normal. And now in this next patient, we have abnormalities in both these areas. So this is the next patient. They have fallen off their bike and injured their shoulder. They suspect they had a tear or injury of their uh, AC ligaments. And if we look up top here, this is the clavicle again. A chromium, and now we see how different this looks. This is gray, it's a little bit wide, and we see this gray material over the top. So this is an injury of the AC ligament, and also the bone, instead of being sharply defined like it is on this side, the clavicular side, on the acromial side, the bone looks a little flat, a little funny looking. So this is an injury of the bone, where the clavicle and acromion hit together, injured the bone here, it's flattened a little, and also the ligaments are partially torn. Now, the AC ligaments, you can have a sprain, as in this case, where the ligaments are not completely ruptured, just partially torn, and the fluid is in the joint, and you get a little bit of widening, not that much, as in this case. Or you can get something more serious, where the ligaments that hold these bones together are completely ruptured. They call that an AC dislocation. And when they're completely dislocated, there's a wide gap here. Sometimes the clavicle will drift way up, and those are much more serious injuries. But these injuries are more common and they heal pretty well themselves typically and again that's uh, the ligaments are partially torn but not completely ruptured. So it's an AC ligament sprain. Now this patient also had one more finding. On the other patient we had seen a nice beautiful dark superior labrum. In this patient we see a little linear white line here. This is another view to show that better but there's a little vertical band right there. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom on up and that uh, little band right there is a tear of their superior labrum. The labrum is a little fibrocartilage, this thing that attaches to the top of this cup. And again, their superior labrum is torn, and they have this injury of the AC joint here, or AC ligament sprain, and that's it. So thank you so much, and uh, have a great night.